Welcome to my tutorial. Today we, you'll be learning how to use Excel with uh, Fabio Grand, a system remote technologist. So for those who you guys having computer problems and would like to stay in your home and still be able to use your computer, you can go to my website www.knowitall.com or you can also give me a call at 954-213-5825 and so we'll get your computer right on track but today it's not about that we're going to be learning how to use the Excel program Microsoft Excel uh, because some of you guys still don't know how to use Excel and for those who don't I had a friend of mine who writes everything down on paper every single thing down on paper and I told her um, it's time for you to get away from paper and become paperless uh, go green if you want to call it or go tech so today we're going to learn how to be using the Excel program so right here I don't know if you can see the bottom of my screen but if you can't I'm opening up Microsoft Excel in the Mac there's also a Windows version of this actually this is a Windows program but yeah I have the uh, Mac and the yeah so just click on it uh, yours may look like this if you have the one for Mac or it may not look like this and what we're going to do basically we're just going to start from a template or matter of fact we'll just open up a new document so you will get right here to your templates again I'm going to exit out I'm going to exit and I'm going to open it again I double click twice and then it brings me to Excel workbook gallery some of you guys may just open up to the regular blank Excel which that's okay depending on what version you have and so now I'm going to show you we're going to open up a blank document so what we're going to do is go right here to Excel first I gotta exit this and it'll open up a blank workbook a blank workbook let me just move it on over for you guys and if you see right here you have all your options of you know saving uh, new template open from workbook save print cut copy paste um, copy formatting um, you know formation arrange data functions even add music or videos to the browser which you can do when you're making a chart so let's start out and making out a simple simple chart simple chart that can basically ask all your questions if you have any questions below you can comment in the comment box okay now we're here now we're just going to do a, a very simple step right now uh, for, for those who have your Excel worksheet open we're going to do a very simple step in cell A1 we're going to type in the mobile master store so this is A1 this is A this is B this is C this is B they're all different cells they're all different cells so what you're going to do is go to A1 A1 remember I said A1 and type in the mobile masses another thing you could have did if you don't want to type it from here, you could have just highlight A1 and type it in right here. If there was nothing already in the A1, I know it still shows over here, but that's okay. But it's still an A1. It's still an A1. The next thing uh, you want to do in A2, type in the bi weekly payroll report. So we're going to type in bi weekly payroll report some of you guys might be asking what am I doing I'm doing an example for a basic um, insert in, in Excel so this is a basic insert in Excel um, you can type in whatever you want right here this is just an example for those of you oh, this is basic instructions of using how to use Excel okay and now the third thing I would like for you to do, I want you to enter column title. So how do we do that? Now, if you see that you can enter column. So as you see, we have the mobile masses and the bi-weekly payroll report, but we want that to be our title. 
and we don't want it to be here like this in this corner. We want that to be the title. So what we're going to do, we're going to highlight it. And then we're going to put it into center. So there's a lot of ways you can put it in the center. You can just, first thing I suggest, you highlight it, you format it. You'll be able to highlight it and you'll be able to format it. The next thing you'll be able to do is on A3, we're going to type in employee. So we're going to unhide like this, go to A3, and we're going to type in employee. Now, these will be good for um, you who have a business. You can just change the titles a little bit, and you can um, put the names of your employees and the members of your group or whatever you have. It doesn't matter what you have. You can put it in these things, and it will all work. It will all work. It will save you from doing much of that paperwork. So as you put in employee in A3, the next thing I want you to do in cell B3, type in hire date. So this is your employee status, and now you're going to put the hire date of which they got position. So just, just type in hire date. Remember, you can go right here, just click in hire date, or just type it in, whatever you prefer. Um, now, what else do we want to do after that? So we have our, the title, the mobile masses, the and A1. In A2, we have the bi-weekly payroll report. Um, in A3, we have the employee, employee and the hire date. Um, the next thing I want us to do, I want us to type in, in B3, still, dependent. So hire date, dependent. It's still going to be in, in all together. Hire date, dependent. Sorry, hire date dependent, and then use the right column key having an issue here with Excel and what's going on. We're gonna press the right column key, the right arrow key to insert the heading. Next thing you're going to do after that is insert the pay rate. So what we're going to do, we want to enter it in the next in the next line in cell D. So how do we do that? We click on hours. We type in all, enter, and it goes to the next cell. And as it goes to the next cell, type in rate. So now you have hours and rate. The next thing you're going to type in gross pay and F3. F3 is going to be in gross pay and F3. You can just scroll on down to F3 and type in gross pay. Trying to make this video shorter than 10 minutes, but there might have to be a part two to this situation. After you enter the gross pay into the column heading, type in G3. I'm going to come back and finish this. Okay, now I'm back. So now what you have so far is the, your title. You have the name of the report. You have your, your, your category. You have employee, hire date, hour rate, gross pay. You can use this if you're on your own business. You want to keep track of your company. If you are in a marketing situation, you want to keep track of your team, how much you're paying them, and things of that nature. What we're going to do in the next segment we're now going to add our names of our employees. So if you have names of any employees or any members on your team, you can get ready to add them in cell A, starting at number four. And I'll be back with another with part two of this video. Thank you.